guys, who's back? Hello and welcome back to Golden Dragon Games. I'm your host, Rocky2815, but please just call me Rocky. Today we are having a special Halloween special Lego minifigure showcase. So I hope you like it. And also, I hope you like the dressed outfit I'm wearing. Uh, anyway, on to the first minifigure. Here is my first minifigure. This is King Boo from Luigi's Man. Shouldn't originally for the GameCube. So, what I made him out of, in case you want to make one yourself, I made him out of basically blue tack. As you can see, in sticky labels, I'm not too happy with how I did the back because you can see there's a bit of blue tack shown there. I had to do a bit of blue tack shown there so it could actually, you know, fit on Lego studs. But overall, I'm happy with how I'd done the figure with the arms, the crown, which does come off which as you can see is a one by one cylinder piece with again blue tack stuck on top and then that's how the crown is I decided to use a metallic gold for the edging of the crown unfortunately there's a bit still here that's white but my gold pen's been running out for ages so is my black pen actually but I have done his classic scary mouth with the two teeth, the blue tongue, and his little red eyes. I've forgotten how he sounds. I was going to try and do his laugh, but mm, never mind. Anyway, that is Kim Boo. On to the next minifigure. And, of course, we couldn't have Luigi's Mansion video game Lego custom minifigure showcase without Luigi himself with his torch and his Poltergust 3000 made by Professor Egad. I will be upgrading Luigi's hat from this normal sort of baseball cap style with sticky label L on for, for a Shapeways Luigi hat. And also I got his torch, which I just made out of a one by one white stud and a grey lightsaber handle. Now, if I just take his poltergust off of him, and his 360 with him without his poltergust 3000. So, here is the poltergust 3000 on its own. I used the old classic style Spider-Man web, cut it about quarter away, I don't know, I'm not very good at maths, um, sculpted this out of blue tack, again, because that's why I normally do sculpt out of blue tack, and then I used one of these backpack pieces to actually allow him to put it on and take it off. Unfortunately, the straps do not come off there. I've actually sticky labelled them on so they're permanently stuck to his torso. Um, again, blue tack, I've done little red button that he presses to suck up all the ghosts. And all that sort of stuff. Surprisingly, like, I love the Mario series, but I have never ever played Luigi's Mansion. Which I hope to play one day. Also, here's a close-up of his face printing. Uh, I probably could have done better on the face, really. I might redo his face. Ugh, in the back of his head and body and legs, because the, as you can see, the pen is actually rubbing off of him. But um, I've only made too many figures, just, you know... So a quick thing, um, I'm not very familiar with the Luigi's Mansion series, so I won't, well, I don't know all the characters. I know the very first boss ghost you encounter is called Neville, and that's about as much as I know, and I know, like, you know, King Boo is the villain, and, you know, but for anybody else who plays it, I'm not going to spoil the storyline. But anyway, uh, that's about it really so 
So that's basically it for what I've got to show you. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you like, favourite, subscribe, and comment, of course, in the comment section down below. So as I just said, thank you everybody for watching. And till the next Halloween video for this month. Also, there will be a special vlog coming up announcing something for next month.